How do you become a successful salon owner? What's the path and how do you get there? Watch this video and I'll explain how. Hey, it's Jason Ever from the High Performance Salon Academy. And being a successful salon owner, if I'm really honest, is all over the place. And here's why it's all over the place. One of the biggest challenges with being a successful salon owner, at least in my experience, is that some people, their definition of being successful is just to say, I'm a salon owner. So I just want that to sink in for a second because there's a lot of people out there that just say, I've always wanted to be a salon owner, but I don't care what my salon looks like. So if they own a one chair salon or a 10 chair salon or they make money or don't make money, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter because all they wanna do is just tell somebody that I finally did it, I own a salon. But at the High Performance Salon Academy, we have a very different definition of what we consider to be a successful salon owner. First of all, you have to achieve the goals that you want to achieve to be a successful salon owner. But I'm gonna tell you what our definition is. You can borrow from it if you will. Is that being a successful salon owner means a couple things. It means that you choose when you you want to work behind the chair. So if you're working behind the chair, that's fine, but that you have the freedom to choose when you want to do it. Then you also pay yourself a manager or owner salary for working inside the salon. So for all those extra things that you have to do, right? All the business owner duties and marketing duties and things that you do, you get compensated for that additional time that you work inside the salon separately from your behind the chair time. And then finally, the third thing that's important in our opinion to give you the successful salon owner title is that you must also take home a profit that is different than your payroll for your you as a business owner. It's different than your pay behind the chair, the profit for your salon. It's your reward for being the shareholder inside the business. So those three streams of income, in our opinion, must be turned on in order for you to be considered to be a successful salon owner. It means you're actually running a business, right? That's the whole goal of running a salon. Now, are there other levels of success? Sure, you could be making millions of dollars, but look, I don't care if you're making millions of dollars in the salon, I wanna know how much money you're actually putting in your pocket. So you decide on your own what success means to you. How much money do you wanna make behind the chair? How much money do you wanna make as a salon owner or manager? and then how much money do you wanna make as a profit of the salon? And then start pushing yourself and testing your limits and see what you are truly capable of. Because me personally, my own mission is to help you see what you are truly capable of because I think that so many people don't understand what they're capable of and they start to set boundaries and limits for themselves based on what they see around them instead of what they are capable of. So as you start to hit those limits and barriers, Find somebody who can coach us. It doesn't have to be us, but find somebody who can coach you, push you, and press you forward. And if you do want some help from us, do me a favor, comment on this video and say, help me, and we will reach out and give you some information and tell you how you can book appointments and get in touch with our team. But if you want more great videos like this, do me a favor, head over to our Facebook page. Uh, you can check it out. It is called The Profitable Salon Owners. If you wanna hang out with other profitable salon owners and make sure that you have all three streams of income, and then later down the road, four and five streams of income, we'll show you how to do that there until then, have an awesome week.